Hello guys, welcome to my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. Uh, got a bit of a mad uh, ones of review here for you. I'll pick this up from the corner shop. Uh, £2.29 it cost me for one can. Um, I think it's because of the ABV levels. Look at that. 9% ABV, mush. 9% ABV. Uh, it's a lager, as far as I'm aware. It's a Polish lager. I've never tried it before. It looks pretty evil in a black can, doesn't it? And at 9% ABV, it probably is quite evil. Uh, I'm going to have to try and pronounce this now. I'm not so good at pronouncing the name of these beers, but I'll give it a go. Uh, I'm going to go for Carpacky. Carpacky. Sounds a little bit racist, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's Polish. Um, let's see what it's like. I thought I'd give it a go. I mean, this, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm not expecting much for this. It reminds me of like one of those super strength uh, beers. So I'm expecting it to taste something like Tramp's Piss. So hopefully uh, it tastes a little bit better than that. Um, not that I've ever tasted Tramp's Piss, but um, yeah, that's what I'm expecting. So I'm going in with very low expectations and uh, we'll see if it ends up down the sink or not. <laughs> anyway, on that note, let's get it open, I suppose. Oh, it's a 500ml can, guys. So it's a bit bigger than your normal can. And £2.29, I think I mentioned that already. Anyway, let's uh, see if we get any aromas from this. Smells quite malty. I'm getting a bit of honey actually, like a sweet, sweet malts and honey. Maybe a, a tiny hint of spice in there as well. Doesn't have much aroma considering it's nine percent. It doesn't have much aroma at all. But what is there? It really, don't smell that bad. Uh, let's get it in the glass and see what it looks like. I'm expecting it to come out black. <laughs> Imagine that. We just poured black. That's a lager, so uh, see if it looks like a lager. There we go. I would say beer porn, but I'm not expecting much from this. There we go. It is a nice golden colour. It really doesn't look too bad. It looks like a sort of premium lager, doesn't it? Really don't look bad. You've got uh, nice uh, levels of carbonation, I'd say. Highly carbonated, even. Uh, looks a little bit like the Fosters, doesn't it? That I reviewed the other day. Um, yeah. Overall, it looks pretty nice. It's like a golden colour, almost going towards amber. With a nice white, really white, like brilliant white, uh, slightly foamy, nice looking head. It looks like a decent bite, guys. Same sort of smell. That smells all right. It looks all right. Let's get in there. Please don't taste like Tramp's Fist. Cheers, guys. Hopefully. First impressions. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's really not. It's kind of weird, like, as I was drinking it, I actually thought, this is actually really quite nice. Um, but then right at the end, uh, it tastes quite smooth now, and I'm thinking, this ain't nine, this ain't nine percent. And then right at the end, you get that sort of heat that sort of hits you as it goes down your chest, but it, it's really delayed, um, really quite delayed. Like, you, you don't think it's gonna come, you think you're done. And you've got all the uh, flavours and that you're going to get from it. And then just out of nowhere, just get that warm sort of feeling. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to go in again and uh, see what I can, uh, sort of flavours I can pick up for you guys. It ain't that bad at all. I'm getting a bit of honey in there. Uh, sweet corn. 
it's got quite of like a medium body for a lager, I'd say. It is definitely thicker than most. It's really weird because it really doesn't taste 9%, but then all of a sudden it does, but it's so delayed. It tastes about 5%, honestly, it's really strange. Uh, and then just out of nowhere, it, this you just get this huge warmth, like alcoholy warmth that tells you, right, you got to respect this beer a bit, you know what I mean? Um, there is a little bit of uh, grassy hops in there. Couldn't smell no hops on the aroma, but there are some in there that help uh, balance out the malt. Bit like bready kind of malts in there as well. Maybe even a little bit of caramel. There is quite a lot going on, but the flavours aren't big. There's nothing sort of like about this, which I was kind of expecting to sort of, you know, get a real sort of uh, like kick or something to it. I don't know why. But no, it's not cheap. It's £2.29 a can. But I think this was affected by like the um, law change a few years ago. I think it probably would have been cheaper back then, a bit like the um, uh, super tenants and special brew and all that sort of thing. Now they're about three quid a can, aren't they? So yes, um, it, it might have been like a quid a can a few years ago, I really don't know. But yeah, it don't taste too bad. There's something quite clean tasting about it. Oh. Mm. It's quite sweet though. I didn't, wasn't really getting that sweetness on the first go. But as I'm drinking more of it, it is becoming more sweet and more like, kind of like a syrupiness to it. It's not going down the sink anyway. I'm going to drink it. But it is definitely getting a bit too sweet for me now. I don't, but I'm not really a fan of sweet stuff, as you uh, may or may not know. I don't really know what to give it. I've got to go straight in and say I won't buy it again. But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I'm glad I tried it. But, uh... There's been a few people that have told me that Polish beer is pretty good and to give them a try. And that's the main reason I picked it up. I thought, don't let the 9% put you off. It's Polish, give it a try. It's just not that bad. It's a little bit strong though, as well. 500 mil can as well. You wouldn't need many of these. 4.5 units in that, one can. Yeah, so you had that sort of five cans of that, you've had over 20 units. Six cans of that, you've basically had a bottle of 70 seal vodka to yourself. So yeah, go easy with it guys, if you do try it. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm awfully not a score out of 10. Let's give it uh, one more try. And uh, so I'm, I'm really not sure. It's just not as bad as I thought. I was, I, it, um, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be guys. <laughs> Um, I was just expecting it to go down the sink. I'm going to go... Um, say, I'm only going to compare it to other lagers. It's got more flavour than most lagers, I'll give it that. It has got quite a bit of flavour. Got quite a nice mouthfeel to it. Not too keen on that sort of almost chemically alcohol warmness to it that you sort of taste and then feel in the chest at the end. Sometimes that can be nice, but not really with this one. It kind of ruins it a bit for me. And it is getting, I mean, a little bit sweet the more and more I drink of it. So I'm going to go for 5.5 out of 10, I think. But it is drinkable. I don't think everyone will like this. Some people, some people will probably drink this and just go, like, "Well, it's way too strong." It don't taste nine percent though. I don't think it's just that hit at the end that sort of reminds you this is nine percent, 
Um, yeah, I think 5.5 is a fair score, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you enjoyed me uh, reviewing these uh, super strength beers. And I might pick up some super tenants or special brew or whatever someday and uh, review that for you guys. Um, I did say I'm going to try any beer I can get my hands on. So I'm going to have to go through uh, whatever I see eventually. I've done quite a lot now, so there's less to choose from. So you may find, find a few like dodgy ones thrown in here and then. Because uh, I don't just want to leave all the super strength ones till last. I do want to try and mix it up. That's why sometimes I do craft beer, sometimes I do a lager. You know, I like even throw in the odd cider here and there, you know. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button for me if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. And uh, if it's your first time watching and you've made it this far, think about subscribing. Can't have been that bad, can it? And um, yeah, uh, I'm off on holiday on uh, Monday. Uh, I don't know when this to go up. I might even put it up the day before I go, or I might save it till I get back. I don't really know. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, bye bye, darlings. I'll uh, see you soon, yeah?